Hey, this is Rob from the Woozle Effect in Russell, Manitoba, Canada. I just want to describe really quickly what I've done here. I've taken a Yonberg harmonica. This is the Typhoon model, uh, D2 Typhoon. Uh, this is in the key of A. And uh, what I've done is I've valved it, which uh, I thought was going to be challenging to do, just given the uh, shape of the chambers for the reeds. And I'll show you that in a moment when I pull it apart, but just to give you an idea. So that's uh, one draw, one blow, and of course, you can b bend one blow because it's valved, two blow, three blow is sticking a bit, I haven't quite got it right, it works, four blow, five blow, that one works well, and six blow, that bound a little bit there, yeah, so that works uh, quite well actually. Okay, so I've uh, opened up the uh, the cover plates in the Onberg, popped out the three screws, and it just comes out. It's pretty easy to do. Um, the valving I've done today is uh, what my usual system. So it's using uh, strips of rubber that I cut from uh, bicycle inner tube. So uh, this is from my bike. Uh, you can tell it's uh, pretty mangled. It's been been through the wars. So you blow a tube, and you can reuse it for uh, the material. Works quite well. I've valved a lot of other harps with this. So. Um, let me pop up the reed plates. I've overthought how much profiling I need to do. I just might be able to get away with much thinner reeds, given how narrow these chambers are. Um, holes three and four are actually pretty easy to work with because, um, yeah, they're pretty straight holes for the most part. Uh, and then five and six, again, is where it's going to get dicey. So when I do eventually retune and go over to seven, eight, nine, ten, seven and eight should be a piece of cake. Nine and ten are going to take a little work. So uh, let me pause there and I'll pop out the other reed plate and show you yet some more. Okay, one last shot before I put it all together. Um, a little moisture on there, I was just playing it. But uh, as you can see, the reeds uh, sit pretty well. And what I'm discovering is I probably don't need to put as much effort into profiling the reeds uh, to fit around the screw holes because this rubber material that I'm using, this bicycle inner tube, is actually very forgiving. As long as it's slightly wider than the reed slot, it wants to fall back on, down on that spot. And by using the rubber profile the way I have, it curves in just such a way that it naturally wants to sit inside the reed slot. At least that appears to be what's going on. Sorry for the focus. This is just a quick video just to show you the progress so far. I'm going to put together a better video in the next little while. Thanks again. Once again, this is Rob Laferrier from the Woozle Effect in Russell, Manitoba, Canada. And uh, I'm going to keep working on putting these videos together. So if you like what you see, like, subscribe, share, and check out my other videos on YouTube. And uh, check out my Facebook, Instagram, and uh, all the other fun stuff out there on the website. Thanks very much. Have yourself a good one. Cheers.